All right, Scorpions, Scorpions, Scorpions. I want to say thank you for being here. This is the Sagittarians, um, business, money, and wealth reading, okay? Finance reading and wealth. All right, Scorpions, I want to say thank you. Um, this is um, the season reading of the uh, Aries, Aries season. And it begins from now, uh, March 21st until April 19. I want to say thank you so much for being here. Please remember in order to see um, what is on the, the symbols, you got to use the link below in order to access the symbol. Okay, they're all the links of these four symbol are below. You access it, you go to the join and then you can take the second subscription, the medium subscription is when you can exhilarate this um, information. I want to say to a lot of you, thank you for really supporting my channel and remember to thumbs up. Welcome all newcomers. I hope that you will return. Um, ladies and gentlemen, sometimes you listen to a reading and it's not what you expect. That's why we do these reading, but it is what you need to know that is going to be coming up that you need to work on. And under the, the symbols, they're going to be helping you. All right. Please remember to thumbs up, like, and share. And um, the month readings are going to be coming up right behind this. All right. Let's get in it. Woo. All right, Scorpion. So we see from March 21st, um, the energy of something that was holding you and bonding you is the tower moment is coming down and their people are going to be recognizing the lies and deceptiveness of you are being released, Scorpion. You are being released at Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, man, it could have been your boss or a businessman was holding you on bondage. And in this uh, airy season, you're finally, finally going to be released. So, Scorpion, thank God. I love you guys so much. All right, Scorpion, so let's get into this reading. So the week, the first week, and your best week is going to be the week with the, the, the tower, because you're being released and the last week is going to be your best week. You could be getting so the position of your boss. Okay. All right. So let's go in this. First week is the week on the 21st of March until the 28th. I want to say this week is going to be powerful. It doesn't really matter what is happening. This week is going to be super, super powerful. And what is happening and transpiring for you, Scorpions? You, Scorpions, were controlled by some sort of a negative forces, okay? And this is negative people and influences in your life. This is the energy of the devil. You have two major arcana where um, you were um, being controlled by a negative forces, okay? And this is someone who is very um, tricky, okay? You were tricked, okay? It doesn't really matter who this person is and what it is because it's coming up as the Aries, so... Okay, so this is what I've been, um, I see a lot of readers and that's why I don't listen. Uh, a lot of readers are saying, oh, the energy of the devil is the Capricorn. The books needs to be rewrite. The Capricorn is the head of a fish and the tail of a goat and the, and the head of a, <laughs> the head of a goat and the tail of a fish. This the, uh, energy of the devil is the energy of the Heries. Okay. And, uh, a lot of people are, are saying, oh, this is the energy of the Capricorn. Now, the Capricorn and the Aries can be as well brutal and use the same energy. But this is coming up as fair and trickery. And this is the energy of negative in influence, someone ego that was controlling a lot of you. So a lot of you were being controlled. A lot of you, Scorpion, it could be you because sometimes you can use your ego Okay, so some of you, Scorpion, could have been using your ego and trying to control some sort of an issue or situation. But it's coming at, not this time, it's coming at some of you, Scorpions, were controlled by some sort of a negative forces or a negative group of people. And this is exactly because it's a business reading. So what is going to be transpiring is that you're going to be recognizing this in this week. And 
As a lot of you are going to be finding out that the Aries at the, is at the root of your problems because the Aries got you connected to a group of people who have created a whole lot of issues in your world. So a lot of you, um, Scorpion, is going to be finding this out. And as you find this out, you're going to be recognizing that you have been controlled for a very long time. Maybe you had an Aries voice or you had someone who was using the ego that was controlling you. And you recognize this now and it's going to be facing this up because one thing, Scorpions don't like people to control them. But it's as if some of you were manipulated by using, someone used negative forces that was manipulating you at the workplace and was trying to create some sort of a, and hold you illusion for a very long time so that your business or financial flow will not and you, and drain you of your business and financial flow. And whoever this person is that was doing that to you, you're going to be recognizing it and facing up to this person in the first week. In the second week of the 29th till the 4th of April, I see a huge tower moment. Thank God. So this is what I was saying, Scorpions. You were manipulated by someone, a group of people, or it could be someone, your boss, someone in a corporation could have gotten you in a corporation or someone in your corporation was manipulating you. And this is looking as an Aries. For some of you, it is an Aries because there's a tower moment. So... A lot of you, Scorpion, is going to be recognizing that the Aries was controlling you by using negative forces and getting away with a lot of things. And a tower moment is coming down for this Aries because when we look at this energy with the towers, is that you're going to be released. You're going to be released. An Aries or a Leo, and this is a Mars energy, an Aries or a Leo, a tower moment um, is the energy where... An Aries or a Leo could have been controlling a lot of you for a very long time. And if they are not the one, they got you involved in so, with someone that was controlling a situation. So a lot of you are going to be recognizing that if you were dealing with an Aries or a Leo and you had some sort of a conflict with this Aries and the Leo, they have placed some sort of a negative um, situation on you. So it's as if you had co-workers or employees uh, that was Aries and Leo and whatever that was happening and transpiring, it doesn't have to be exact Aries and Leo, but it could, for most of you, it's going to be, but it could be other people that has used negative forces because a lot of people are not aware of this. Sometimes uh, you have a conflict with someone at the workplace, but you don't know who are these people are and what they do when they're away from the workplace. And they have used negative energy in order to block you that future you will have financial problems and issues. And it's something that some of you had some sort of a co communication or a complication with someone at the workplace who did this to you. And now you're finally, finally going to be released from these people that have done this. Another thing that is going to be happening for a lot of you, Scorpion, is that a lot of you, Scorpion, was controlled by a negative forces and a negative group of people who use you and manipulate you and use you in such a way where they were drawing your energy and use you to pay off some sort of a debt. And you are going to be released in the week of the 29th until um, the, the 4th of April because people recognize that you were under control by a group of negative people and you're going to be released. So congratulations to all the young scorpions that was controlled by a negative group of businessmen or investors that you were controlled on the, um, and, you know, get ready because the week of uh, the second week of the 29th till the 4th, these people are going down. They are going down. All right, let's move forward. Week of the, the third week is the week of the 5th till the 11. The week of the 5th till the 11, you are going to be recognizing the 10 of swords. Uh, yeah, the 10 of swords upright. The 10 of swords is the sun in Gemini. The sun in Gemini. And I see the 10 of swords is about people now recognizing the lies. People now are really seeing the truth. It's as if people were hiding 
some sort of a secrecy and hiding data and information, some sort of a communication comes out. The light is here, ladies and gentlemen. The sun is shedding light on some horrible, deceptive information that people had lied. So a lot of you scorpions are going to be recognizing that people had lied. And um, whoever these people are, it was people that was controlling a situation and they were controlling the situation. And People are not going to be recognizing. These people have not been speaking the truth. So you, Scorpion, is going to be recognizing because the truth is going to be coming out. Um, some information that a Gemini said um, that people were not aware of. Maybe a Gemini had been lying or a Gemini is the one who is going to be showing up that people were lying and people had created a whole lot of problems. But some of you um, are going to be having some sort of an issue and a Gemini could be helping you out showing the truth or you could recognize um, that the Gemini has not spoken the truth. But whatever the information is, is that the light is going to be shed. The, the sun is bringing, shedding light on information that people have not been speaking the truth, Scorpions. And this is going to be so happy because you are going to be standing there and recognizing that's why you were older on the bondage and that's why people were trying to manipulate a situation because people haven't been speaking the truth and it could have been a Gemini but it doesn't basically have to be a Gemini because it's the sun in Gemini the sun in Gemini just uh, it is the light is been shed the sun is bringing out lies and deceptiveness of other people around you who was creating a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of problems and was lying okay wow and who we're looking at we're looking at the leos and the taurus virgo or capricorn the leos or the taurus virgo aries leos taurus virgo and capricorn those were the people and we're looking at men businessmen and they're going to be recognizing that a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn businessman, along with an Aries man and a Leo man, have been lying. They are going to be recognizing that these people had collaborated and created a whole lot of lies and deceptiveness. And they're now going to be finding out that these people was very dishonest. These three businessmen, Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn businessman, along with an Aries and along with a Leo. And I see a huge tower moment is going to be coming down on their business. These could have been international investors or people who had collab collaborated and created a huge lie. And the, whole, the truth is coming out because I see um, a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn man is now on their back because they recognize the lies of this man and what this man have created. Con Congratulations to all of you Scorpions. Finally, people are recognizing the dishonesty of, of these businessmen. So let's look at, at the fourth and last week. Fourth and last week is the 12th until the 19th, the 12th to the 19th of April. They're going to be recognizing the dishonesty and the network of a uh, Three group of businessmen. The dishonesty and a network of three group of businessmen. And these three people, Aries, a Leo, and a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, has lied and created some sort of a um, dishonesty um, with data and information. Data and information. And now people have in the third week. Uh, um, the fifth, between the fifth and the eleventh, people are going to be having information and recognizing that these three businessmen has been doing some sort of an illegal business. So, and telephone conversation, information, data, emails is going to be coming out where these three businessmen had collaborated and created a crooked, crooked business deal and got you scorpions involved. I do love you, Scorpion, so much. I'm so happy for you. Please remember to like and share these videos. Go and see which one of the symbol. If your boss is a Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn, go check him out because you're, you're going to be recognizing how crooked this person is. And if your boss is an Aries, go check them out. If your boss is a Leo, go check them out because you are going to be finding out that three managers or three businessmen 
or three people on the work floor that is an Aries, Leo, and a Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn had collaborated and lies because information and data is now going to be coming out and you Scorpion is going to be thinking, Jesus, wow, okay, I'm glad that I am being released from this. So if you get, I, it's not, you are going to be getting fired, nothing like that. It's just that information and data about these three people, the lies, data and information is coming out. I do love you guys. I gotta go. Remember to thumbs up, leave a message. I read all the messages, but ladies and gentlemen, uh, it is so, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, you know, it is so much. Scorpions, if you're having problems at the workplace, if you're having problems in your business, book a call. We do video calls. Uh, um, you just go on the website and look for the business link. I always try to put it in because uh, the website are private things, but also business. I will set the link just, you know, if you're not trusting someone in your company, send me the picture, upload the picture, pay for the reading. We call or I will leave you a voice a video where I can explain thing about this person. I do love you guys. Thank you for coming in. Namaste. Until next time. Oh, <laughs>